Hello guys, so in this video we're going to look at some basic uh, Linux administration, some basic housekeeping, how to keep your system up to date, and we're going to automate that so that we know that our system is constantly updated. Let's get started. So there are a few uh, commands that are very important to know. One is apt-get, and uh, we're going to date. So apt-get update is going to update our package list, so our computer knows which packages need to be uh, need to be updated. If we try to run this uh, this command as it is, we're going to be told that we don't have permission, and that's because we need to be a super user to uh, to update the system. So we need uh, to prefix that command with sudo, super user do, and hit it, and you'll see that. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi, so we're going to raspbian.raspberrypi.org and we're reading the packages and the package list is done. Okay, so after we've updated our package list, we can uh, upgrade. And we'll run that. And you'll see that uh, I didn't need to upgrade anything. Uh, nothing's newly installed, nothing removed and nothing upgraded. So that's great. Okay, so I'll clear the screen, and I'm going to show you how to run both of those commands at the same time. So we're going to sudo apt get update, then two ampersands, and sudo apt get upgrade. Okay, so the important thing to know about upgrade is that. Uh, if there are any packages to be upgraded, your computer is going to ask you to uh, to go forward with it or not. And we can avoid that by just tagging a, a Y on there. So dash Y. So that will answer the question automatically. We can run that command and both of those commands are going to run at the same time or one after another. And done. Excellent, okay. So two more things that we, we might want to do. Uh, again, we're gonna need to have privileges to do that. Uh, we're gonna use apt-get again, and we're gonna use auto-remove. Okay, this is gonna remove any packages that are no longer needed. We're also going to run a very similar command, sudo apt-get auto clean okay auto remove and auto clean do slightly different things if you want to know what they do then uh, good idea to get on google and when we run that command it's going to do a similar thing and we're done okay so how do we automate these well it's pretty simple actually we're going to make a little bash script so we're going to uh, let's make a new a new directory with uh, make dir mkdir and uh, we'll call the directory test for now so we'll change into that directory with a cd command and we'll make uh, a new file and the new file we might as well call it update dot sh because this is going to be a bash script why not give that permissions it needs right at the beginning so we're going to use uh, change mode which mod plus x so we're going to give it executable permissions there uh, we name the file and there we have it we do a quick list just to make sure yeah we've got a file in there called update it's green so I know that it's executable if I really want to check that out I can use list and tag L and I'll show me the permissions there. I can see that uh, the user, the groups, sorry, the owner, the groups, and the user all have executable permissions on this file. So one thing I want to check out before we go and put any uh, content into that file is to know where bash exists on my computer. So it's in bin and uh, that's going to be easy to write. So we're going to use nano. It's a text editor. And we open it up like this. So the first thing we need to do, 
a shebang and a forward slash we're going to write bin bash now we can start writing our scripts so i'm going to put a little comment here um update etc okay and if we remember the command sudo apt get update to ampersands and sudo apt get the dash upgrade we're going to tag the y so we don't get prompted okay excellent and the next thing i want to do is uh remove etc okay so we're going to do sudo apt get auto remove and sudo apt get auto clean and i'm going to write the word exit because that's my habit i'm going to save that by pressing ctrl and o it's an enter then exit with an x and now clear the screen and we can run that script hopefully so dot and a forward slash we called it update yeah and it's going to run all four of those commands for us so we know that the script runs and i'm quite happy with that but i want to go back in there and uh, i want to add a couple of lights to this okay the first thing i want to do is to add a comment and we're going to write to text file okay because we're going to create a little text file that will tell us when uh, the last time this script was run just to check that our automation is working properly okay so we're going to use echo and we're going to echo last run and we're going to direct that at a new text file let's just call it um, log.txt okay and then we can use this command date and we can use two of those little forward arrows and we can put that into the same file okay i'm going to save that and exit and i'm going to run the script so while this runs uh, what should happen now is when it finishes it will write to a new text file the name that we gave it and we can check that by using cat command and we can see last run and the date and the time that it just ran okay so let's clear the screen and everything's fine it works and uh, we get a little report so the next thing we want to do is to uh, make this automated and we're going to use cron tab cron tab is a tool that will tell your computer to run a certain script or do a certain thing at a certain time of the day of the week a certain day of the week or day of the month and all we need to do is type cron tab dash e for edit when we hit enter that'll open up a, an editor and we can go to the bottom and add a new cron tab as you can see i already have a very similar script running on a regular basis on this computer it actually runs every hour at one minute past the hour i'll explain how this works let's comment that one out so it is ignored by cron tab and we'll add another comment new update script okay so i'm going to put five asterisks and i'll explain how this works each asterisk is a wild card so if we leave it as an asterisk it will uh, represent any okay let me explain that the first one is minute the second one is hour then we have day of the month month 
and we have day of the week. So if we don't alter any of these, then our script will run every minute of every day of every month. And we don't really want that. So I'm gonna change the first one to a zero. So that'll happen on the hour, every hour. If you think that's a little bit too much and you want it to just happen once a day, we can uh, delete the next and let's say, uh, give it a number five. So this should happen at five o'clock every morning. Okay. And then we'll tell it where to go to look for our script. And if you remember, it was in the home directory and we can represent the home directory by the tilde and the forward slash. Then we type the name of the directory and then we type the name of the script. Okay, we can save that and exit. And we should be safe in the knowledge that this script will run at five o'clock every morning, every day of the year. And I'm gonna check that out tomorrow morning to see if that's run for me. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you again in another video. Thank you very much.